what the conversation would be about because he had warned me and you are saying that this is you've written your paper is constantly writing something about uh, this politician and you know uh, he's he's asked that you meet him so i said fine a media company mm. and uh, you know typical of media companies we write a lot of things about a lot of people and you know one of our very large advertisers uh, called me up one day and said that you know your uh, paper has uh, you know unfairly treated a very big politician and he would like to meet with you mm. so i said that uh, sure but i am you know i am not available on this this date these are my travel plans so he says don't worry i'll send a plane to pick you up from delhi and i'll take you there you go and meet with him and come back and i'll drop, I'll drop you, you to bombay because you wanted to go to bombay and we will work towards your timing so they had made an effort to, to reach out to and, reach out and, and make it uh, okay. and i suspected what the conversation would be about because he had warned me mm. uh, you know wow. saying that this is you've written your paper is constantly writing something about uh, this politician and you know uh, he's he's asked that you meet him so i said fine i had a couple of days so i asked my editor to prepare everything that we had written for and against uh, that particular government or mm. that particular politician sure, sure. so i had two three big binders mm. which i carried with mm. me in the plane mm. and sure enough at the appointed time i was ushered in there was nobody else but this one gentleman and he started uh, attacking and he started saying that you you are unfair every time you bring up this you bring up this about me and about my government and this is just not not right now i had prepared for it i think the first thing about a tough conversation is that you prepare mentally everything that you can you anticipate all the all the questions that will be asked you know the uh, the subject so i i i said that uh, you know you are only looking at half side of the story if you believe we've been unfair shame on us you tell us what the truth is and we will verify it and if you are right we will pub- put a public apology you saying that this 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 we got it wrong this is the sure, f- fact sure. but you should listen to the other side of the mm. story where we've supported you mm. where we've supported your government ye wo and i said look at this i quickly in 10 minutes i went through all the art he said that, that that's all right but aap log koi achhi baat thodi sunte hain wo to gandi wo aap galat likhte ho jhooti baat likhte ho wo 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 likhte so it was for one and a half hours it was a very tough conversation but i was really well prepared uh, you know i knew i knew what we were doing and i knew we were right i knew that what we were doing was nothing unethical nothing wrong we were just reporting how how Uh, it was but it was uh, a, a tough conversation and i think the only way you can have a tough conversation is if you are fully prepared and you mm. are honest no, you are honest. transparent honest Intent to yourself good. and to mm. the other guy and say that mm. yes and and uh, and you offer you 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 offer to be uh, to be uh, punished or you offer to be in the dock if you are wrong yeah. so you, that is the nature of the tough con because you know that there will be a reaction kuch no kuch to wo bhi to unke paas they are also coming from yeah, a mindset yeah, so they will sure. they will have a point of view absolutely. so you have to listen to that mm. and then you have to respond to that mm. I, i i don't know whether this qualifies for a tough no it does yeah, it yeah that's a that's a very tough thing yeah <laughs> <laughs> i mean dealing with a you know so called political parties where you know and and uh, yeah that was a tough call and i think he he planned it yeah and in, in addition to i think preparation the other piece mm. is respect so if you uh, you walk into that meeting mm. with the right respect for the person who's there mm. that along with uh, to, your, to your point you said openness to a solution mm. so if you come in to say that i have come with a closed mind and this is what i'm going to come and tell mm. you the conversation doesn't lead anywhere mm. a difficult conversation to lead logical end has to be mm. that you are open to listening you're open to a solution you want to 
walk out with both a win-win solution rather than mine versus yours. Mine versus yours. So in uh, one of my uh, earlier assignment, along with academic work, I was also given uh, admin work. And this was to take care of uh, uh, finance function of uh, educational institute. And I found it that uh, one of my boss was continuously deviating from the protocols and uh, which I found it very uncomfortable. But as a faculty who works under a boss, I need to listen to him. So over a period of time, I tried learning that I may not be able to stop some of his decision because I don't have that control, but I ensured that I throw a lot of constraints to him. Therefore, he cannot have a smooth walk on what he wanted to get it done. And uh, in a way, I tried delaying all those decisions, uh, which is not looking so fair to me. And over a period of time, he also understood that getting along with me on that is very difficult. And uh, though I was polite on phase, I was able to get what I want because I felt that uh, things have to be done with much more fairness. In academics, uh, by and large, we deal with a lot of uh, young minds and uh, these generations are very, very, what you call it as volatile and uh, we find it very difficult to handle them. And uh, someone is in, in an institute, we have to ensure that uh, uh, regulations are followed and we keep the academic rigor. So at times what happens in some of the courses, we need to take a very tough decision of giving a very poor grade and which can lead to a student uh, discontinuing from the program. And uh, though we make a very tough decision and when we communicate that, we cannot lose out on the empathy around and he has to be dealt with a lot of caution because we are dealing with young students. So what we do when we take tough decision and when we communicate the tough decision, we ensure that we put in front of them a lot of other alternatives so that they don't understand that this uh, bad performance of theirs is going to be the end of it. But we are guiding them for the alternative path in front of them. So I think uh, when we make some tough decisions or when we communicate anything which is tough, I think we need to if you suggest an alternative to them, I think uh, that will look much more fair for them. Mm, so true. Very good. And I think uh, also getting to uh, preparing, like uh, one of the things is preparing with data, but preparing from the other side. So if you spend some time thinking, if I was the other person, what would be going on in my mind? That also helps a lot mm. with difficult conversations. Mm. So do a role play in your head in terms of uh, if, if I were you and you were me, uh, what would what would I think? What would be my reaction? I think that also helps because one, it prepares you. Second, it em lets you empathize better with the person that you're talking to. See, the other thing in this is that uh, you have to, ent like you, 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 you mentioned, you have to anticipate what is his leverage? Correct. What is he able to do and is going to do? So when young minds are volatile, they can leave the program. In my case, the they were a you know, the government is a large advertiser and they could ban us. They could say, we are not going to use your publication or your television channel or this and comes that. Comes with a lot of financial. Uh, comes with, and it comes yeah, yeah. with, with big risks. Yeah. And, and as a CEO, you have to card all that, right? So, um, this is what I was prepared for, saying that we will ban you. Uh, and therefore, I had to bring to his notice all the good work that we had done to support his programs. Some of the programs, I said, you can ban us, yeah. you know. And it was mentioned very clearly that we will not do a deal with you. I said, this is your choice, but you can also see what we have done. What we have done, what we have done, what we have done. Because they had launched a big uh, program on, in, on, on inviting international money to, for their state. Uh, and I said, for your state, we've done done A, B, C, D, and F. So you have to respect that. So what becomes much more tougher when you have a tough conversation with the senior folks or junior folks? Always senior, I would say. You know, it's mm -hmm. always because it would be. You know, so in our case, I you know, so I we go through these kind of challenges quite a lot because being in a being a entrepreneur, being a businessman, we deal with. A lot of externals as well as internal challenges, you know, where, uh, you know, you got to be very careful because it's it's not just, it's your business, right? And uh, whether you're dealing with 
bureaucracy or whether you're doing the political uh, mm. connect or whatever and there's always somebody wants something to be done right and somebody needs some favor and but i think what guides i mean and, and this i would say in general for anybody i think it all boils down to your principles your values whether it's your business value or your individual which which becomes your so called benchmark right and with and if you have that in our businesses like when we are we have as we are, when we are establishing a brand we are guidelines are very clear you know we we have our do's and don'ts and and i think that needs to be very well said in the in the in the in our in our community expressed. in the ex- express it should be expressed well and when it is expressed everybody understands everybody and then if there is a deviation then it's much easier to do that talk so if your so called code of conduct is well written and has been verified and and you know expressed well it becomes easy for day to day running of a business whether you are dealing with somebody junior or senior because it's fundamentally you know you say that they listen it's not me it's this is something we have put it together yeah. so there it becomes easy but yeah but still we deal with lot of outside uh, 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 so called uh, challenges then we have to be very diplomatic i'll be very honest with you it's not i you know it's always about me being right and just no sometimes you 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 have to be a little dip, you have to use your diplomacy you have to be be careful in how you are handling those sensitive issues i mean you know uh, it's not that easy ki, okay this is right and so it's it's going to be this way and this is my you know it doesn't happen you have to be very sensitive and you got to be careful how you are handling those situations because it can affect your business it can affect a lot of yeah so yeah, but I, your point sorry professor on yeah. the uh, is it more difficult to have a difficult conversation with a senior or a junior folk i guess uh, the while the repercussion may be more when you're having it with a senior person mm. but in today's world i think uh, the, the multi gen workforce that is there mm. it it is i think conceptually more difficult to have a conversation with a junior folk because you come with that's the way we used to operate that's mm. the way we used to work that's the way things have happened so i was having a conversation with some colleagues uh, just just yesterday where they were talking about this entire hybrid working mm. and they're like they don't understand professionalism i said have you defined what is professionalism <laughs> no they 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 don't uh, they're not professional in their work i said have you what is professionalism professionalism according to you what is according, uh. according to them have you explained the why they said for example not accepting a meeting request i said yeah that's professionalism but have you told them that what's why have you done it we we assume we come from a time when uh it was told to your point if it's mm, written those are the rules that the are rules, there but mm. the, the generation we are talking about that's mm, not enough for them that's not enough no the question that yeah the question why did you and we see it as somebody's uh, attacking our authority i think mm. it's not that it's it's just the it's just the way they've been brought up i think very casual yeah is it I would I wouldn't mm. say casual mm. I think I uh, think the contexts are different, different. Yeah, maybe in the mm. I I'll give you you asked a question mm. uh, when is it the toughest I think it is toughest when you personally are involved it's not about work it's mm. not about uh, you know loss of uh, business or loss of this it's when you personally Emotional. emotionally, emotionally mm. are I'll give you a small example yes. I was studying in in college and um, i you know as part of our curriculum we had to do a sum up project um and i did my sum up project and you were assigned a you were assigned a, a, a guide uh, from the faculty so i was assigned a guide from the faculty and we met before before i went there i didn't know what the project was we i went there before him saying that i'm going i'm doing my summer training in hindustan lever and and you know i'll as soon mm. as they tell me what the project is i'll i'll inform you dr mustafi uh dr mustafi was my guide and sure enough i went to uh, the the company and they assigned me a project you know i figure out what is the right inventory level to keep for all our ingredients and you know just summer summer project it was a two month project so i i wrote to dr mustafi and saying that this is my summer project this is how i am approaching it this is what i am trying to do etc etc i didn't get a response from him and i continued my summer project. in the in middle i also wrote another a note saying dr mustafi i am here i am almost completing my project this that and i have got a presentation uh they are just informing him not seeking mm. guidance okay mm. but informing him about what i because the company was giving me enough guidance yeah. you know they were mm. telling me yeah 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 oh, oh, oh. 
so i i did that and i then did my presentation to the company they they really liked it and they said don't apply for a job anywhere else we'll give you a job when you graduate and that was told to me very clearly by all the senior guys to whom i presented and i said fine chalo bahut acha ho gaya i went back to the institute and i got an f for that project hmm. he failed me in that project professor mustafi failed me in that project it hit me personally yeah. because suddenly really suddenly you know <laughs> you you thought you had done a great job and he failed so i i went to uh, professor mustafi for a conversation i said professor this is not right mm-hmm. what you've done you have to evaluate me on my project mm-hmm. you you don't have to evaluate evaluate me on anything else because this is this is what i've get i've submitted you the project you know you he says no you never sought my guidance you never sought my guidance i said why i wrote to you in the first and i had copies of them yeah. i wrote to you he said yeah that's not seeking guidance they're just informing me that you've got this project <laughs> wow. and you're doing it this way etc etc i said no dr mustafa i was expecting that if you disagreed with my or if you had a suggestion you would write back to yeah. me he says i'm not supposed to do that you're supposed to reach out to me <laughs> and 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 you know and this went on for 5 6 days and th- this became talk of our town we had a small campus i was in i am calcutta this was like 200 people and everybody knew <laughs> oh <laughs> this is going on he's going to get an f he's going to get an f. Uh, and finally i went to head of the institute uh and i went to the director and i said director this is absolutely unfair because i have done my job I've done the project. He has to evaluate me on the project. So, so the director just looked at me and said, "Do you have a? Uh, you think you've done well in the project?" I said, "Yes." He says, "Can you get uh, Hindustan Lever to say what you did and you know evaluate the project?" I yeah. said, "Of course." Yeah. I called up my my guide there. Um, you know, he was head of a, a division of. Yeah. Uh, I said, "This is the problem." He said, "Don't worry. I know exactly why they are after you. Don't worry." you've done everything that we wanted to do he wrote a glowing one page uh, bit which i submitted to the director i said this is their evaluation of the project so the director called uh, mr mustafi and said uh, professor you'll have to change your grading if this is the evaluation yeah, yeah. of the end yeah. user you can say that uh, mm. that he did not uh, he was pissed <laughs> he was absolutely angry and pissed and i made sure i didn't take any course uh, from that. <laughs> but but if, uh, why i'm telling this story is i think it hits you the hardest when you personally are involved you can uh, you can create a context for everything else you can yeah. figure out a judgment why this is right and this is wrong look at it from but, but when you are personally involved uh, everything else else falls apart you can't i i gave him a context that you know sir you are supposed to guide me yeah. you didn't do that and he says no you are supposed to ask for my guidance you didn't do that so that 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 got unresolved totally mm. but you bring a very interesting point mm. and probably some experiences would help is uh, how do you take out the emotions out of a difficult conversation yeah. that is the point i'm making yeah. when mm. you are personally involved it Emotions is difficult there, yeah. and therefore i applaud what the director did he said you believe you did a good job i said yes professor mustafi is giving you an f i said yes say how do i uh, resolve it the one way i can resolve it Maybe. take the emotion out you ask them mm-hmm. they are they, they you've done a project for them are they using that project yeah. are they doing something with it ask them to to write to so facts uh, basically help you exactly. override emotion exactly. and exactly. Come, come and it up. doesn't come from you yeah. it comes from a third party, third party. so it is, when when all this happens it is better to get to a Par, uh, to an like we call an arbitrator yeah. you know a third party mm. who has no vested interest in this and who wants to just be fair ego also must be playing a big role big in this role. right ego has Absolutely. got such a challenge big role. you know no yeah. for you it is punishment, punishment for right. the professor it is ego. ego right that's so what i'm saying so ego I mean, and i feel so much gets so called disturbed when the ego comes into play in any kind of relationship in any kind of uh, tough talks i mean yeah. that is i don't know how and i always feel that is my biggest challenge i mean you know when i'm dealing with any tough situation is when you know if somebody is older to me or any you know, anything any even senior partner also how do you handle the ego part of the you know that's always but a challenge Michelle, that's why mm-hmm. i say that establishing con- context from your perspective and from his perspective is important mm-hmm. even in my conversation with the politician mm-hmm. 
I said, sir, I understand what you are mm-hmm. saying that we are we are referring all the time to one incident that happened in your state. Mm-hmm. I I understand that, and you know, uh, you but we are but it is not out of context. It is within when we are describing something happening in your state. It is saying this also happened there. It is mm-hmm. it is a factual context, and similarly when we are helping you. we are seeing how progressive your state is it is the most progressive state in the country and it is doing this and it is doing this and it is doing this so you know i think it helps it if helps. you mm. if you establish a context for the difficult mm. conversation yeah so True. sometimes uh, in corporate uh, you get uh, uh, you make decisions some of the tough decisions like uh, laying off lot of employees mm. and uh, how do you make such a tough communication and when you go and communicate this decision to them how do we make i think the first thing is uh, being transparent if you try to hide behind things and say somebody else's decision uh, i can only tell you this much right now uh, and it, that breaks the trust mm-hmm. so the most important part it's a very tough situation to the point uh, that was just being made it's a very emotional situation for the person who's receiving that news so transparency in my view is the most important part of it so you've got to lay the things right out there in a respectful fashion maybe one on one maybe in a group whatever is the context that you're talking about but uh, i've seen it fail when you when you try to hide behind things mm. when you try to give half baked information saying mm. let me sugar coat it uh, mm. because that hits you back on your face in my in my in my experience that and i think you have to lead there by example yeah. i'll t- tell you it during the covid time uh there was zero revenue for most for a lot of yeah, yeah. Uh, consumer facing yeah. companies sure. uh, there was zero revenue and a lot of sitting cost and you had to talk to the employees and you had to tell them that you know this is a problem we are going to go bust if yeah. we don't take and you as a, the senior most need to take the biggest cut so we cut people salaries mm. by So, uh, at the senior level, fifty percent. Right. Uh, you know, yeah. saying we are not going to uh, mm. uh, skin in the game. Yeah, skin. Yeah, yeah. And at a lower level, five percent, ten percent. You know, give them sure. a living wage at least, etc. Mm. So, if they see that it is happening to everybody, there is a fair system. They are taking bulk of the hit, but it needs to be done because to for survival. Then it becomes a lot easier. And there you are. You are. clear you you show them facts and figures that this was our revenue earlier this was our profit earlier this is the revenue now exactly. this is our loss now how what do we do and people partner with you people. they they do they support you uh, and as he rightfully said if you are transparent you are straight and you are not trying to cover it up and it you works. make them part of the mm, decision, of decision making yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not us Involved versus them yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. they are all in it yeah, together, all together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the common thing you is mm. the senior management has decided that mm. it, it, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the feeling that comes and you never have a buy yeah. So sometime uh, maybe ten years back, when I used to teach in a class, I used to be very natural, and uh, everything was taken in a different spirit. But over a period of time, now you're lucky. There's not social media. Was not yeah, very active. Yeah. Right <laughs> now, <laughs> now it is not so. Now, when I have about sixty student in a class, and when I teach, uh, every student have its own he his own belief system, and uh, they have uh, their own alignment. And uh, when I when i teach in a class i have to be very very careful yeah. and i cannot uh, quote some examples which is hurtful to someone and my language has to be mind and i'm very very cautious of what i say in a class and what i quote and what i teach for me it looks like these days even a simple conversation is becoming much more tougher primarily because we get a feeling that you been observed continuously and you can't make mistakes in your conversation so how in your workplace when you deal with a heterogeneous group of people or when you have people with different social belief how do you make such a one to many conversation no i totally understand where we are. today we are divide, so divided by uh, by our political beliefs <laughs> on but every belief yeah, yeah, everybody, yeah, everybody, yeah, everybody yeah, everybody everybody I mean, everyone has a belief. all of us mm. yeah. because we are either for or we are labeled <laughs> as against and i think maybe uh, too much of information also mm-hmm. to uh, mm. no because mm. we are mm. we are what happens is mm. that your factual whatever you describe these are the facts 
is turned round to be are you for him or against mm. him you know that becomes the Divide, yes. and it is not only about politics it's yeah. about everything yeah else. everything about even about things whether you like virat kohli or you don't like virat mm. kohli everything is is so opinionated you know people mm-hmm. are so that the old the 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 way of you are also right i am also right is is over is 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 pretty much gone it mm-hmm. is now i am right and you are wrong uh, Uh, that is a very very strong emotional uh, bondage that we have come into it's a bondage it's you are you are beholden to your belief you are not open anymore and that's the problem yeah and, and i guess uh, the other piece is uh, you know because there are so many different opinions and mm. uh, to your point you have to be careful of what you say mm. but if you take a step back and look at it uh, you know in the past you probably would have said things which you should not have correct uh, mm. it's just that this 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 checkpoint in your mind is no. coming because of uh, openness of media so social media everyone having an opinion so you have just been extra careful but at the base of it, it it goes back to fairness it goes back to integrity it goes back to fundamental ways of thinking uh, we we t- tended to cross the border at times by making some comment thinking it's okay it's in humor Uh, i think uh, humor is to, to the point that has been made humor has a very different definition now for different people mm. what may seem funny to you may not seem funny to the other person mm, yeah. uh, that but ritesh there is all these things fairness equality uh, you know mm, uh, sense of justice they have undergone a change in people's okay. mind when you are divided and when you are like i use the word bonded when you are when your bondage is to an emotional uh, Uh, really? uh, attachment to somebody, then they judge everything by that. <laughs> whether you are for or against, whether you are fair or not fair, factually is not the issue. Whether you are you are d- d- being just or not being just is not the issue. Whether equal or not, I'll give you a very simple example. A lot of uh, you know there is a rightfully there is a real push to get more women in senior positions. Yeah. okay and women are doing well they are progressing and they are being rewarded so you know when in 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 a in a company i used to work for uh two really a very very fine professionals got got uh, promoted and went to uh, the unilever board and you know this one guy wrote a, a response saying this is fantastic all men should have a sex change <laughs> and you know the reaction was so ruthless vitriolic yeah. absolutely crazy <laughs> absolutely But he wrote it in, a, in uh, yeah. humor yeah, yeah, and it was amongst thing. friends and everybody had uh, this that you know you are degrading <laughs> them and yeah yeah this happening that happening so where is the degradation of yeah. here here we are saying every much of yeah but but in a way uh, to, to be fair i think uh, and that's that's the other side of uh, this entire diversity thing is that all deserving people also now because of comments like these they believe that do they have they really earned it or they've got it because of their exactly. sex exactly so, so they took it yeah. they they said just because we are women we are being promoted yeah. which wasn't the case the people using but, it's a diversity position it's a diversity higher no <laughs> no it is beyond i think it is beyond that i think it is they are so wedded to the idea that we have achieved it that they judge this saying that this is against us this is against my belief the problem is there the problem is not not any the problem is that we become so wedded to a belief or an idea uh, whether it's a political leader or it is a very strongly held belief now i as a woman i believe i deserve it i've got it now who the hell is it to challenge uh, <laughs> that that uh, uh, i i shouldn't be that is the problem so people don't see that the, don't see the lighter side of it because they are so wedded they've almost become bonded bonded to that idea that is the problem yeah but again i think uh, to the point like as i said humor in this case uh, we should all get a sex change is probably not uh, Uh, not appropriate in that regard it's not even from a humor perspective because you are saying that if you are a woman you'll get promoted so i think uh, let's let's something in the past you could get away from things like this because people why, were open. why would you get you, why tolerance, the tolerance no, is no. higher so <laughs> let's argue this why could you get away in the past the tolerance was higher 
exactly because you are not i i come back to my central thesis you are not wedded to a belief you are not so wedded to a belief that everything else was again <laughs> if you said something i will react you you took it in humor you took it you know you said ha ah, yeah yeah guys go go get a sex change you would have done said that but not now now said oh this is sexual but harassment. also it's the platform we use right it's 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 all this happening because of the platform the social media so, and so because right now it's this conversation are not a small conversation in a small group and with that spirit right that whole there will be somebody who's trying to show that you know this you know something or the other that happens all the time in all the groups so i think all this has happened because of this nothing else right so there's nothing known as privacy left right, right. there's nothing i mean you know you you and and rightfully as you said you are being observed because i mean you know i run an uh, association uh, you know industrial association as a general secretary you know i i'm very careful of watching what people are writing because ultimately i am the main guy and if i encourage some and there is always somebody yeah. pushing some political agenda there is always somebody pushing some religion it is not easy i mean you know here i am trying to do my business and suddenly i have to keep track and i'm i'm you know not just from not just what is right or wrong it's also i don't want to get into trouble and i don't want this to escalate and and but but i tell you there are some people who are just in love with this and they they don't respect other people's uh, uh, thought process they are at it and at it and at it so and i don't know so maybe we need to really look relook at you know i don't know this this is scary for me sometimes mm. i think too much of no it's exactly what uh, mm. professor kanakraj mentioned right that you have to be very careful I, yeah. you, you are always on a stage with the limelight on you you know it is i i i, I, <laughs> and, I and you know my, 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 my profession is much more challenging <laughs> no i think every every i think we all do you know we we are being watched i mean you know i i, I see it you know every time people have so much they you don't know where you are being observed who's mm-hmm. caught you at what camera what is happening i mean look what's happening where we are so and taken out of context the, i think yeah, nothing and absolutely and we are all on a thin skin you know uh, yeah. particularly mm. when it comes to our mm. deeply held Deep beliefs. beliefs beliefs yeah yeah, yeah. so i think a lot of things i think what the the lesson i have learned yeah you know ek sup so ek chup so suk like old old thinking so i have realized over the period of time yeah, don't get excited and trying to prove your points so i i best thing i i personally what i do is i keep very low profile i don't react even though i know this is Uh, something against what i think like what tough talk and just speak my mind i say nahi yaar you know <laughs> he has a point god bless him yaar i don't have to react i don't have to justify i believe na believe is me right if i believe in something Excellent, then yeah. people are not going to change my opinion if i believe in something it's my fundamentals it's my values yeah, you system. can't be forcing your belief absolutely. on the absolutely so i'm very clear ki yaar usko bolne do i know my belief na i don't have to prove anything to anybody so i just follow that and that has made my life slightly easy where i don't react don't get upset or anything as a thing yaar all kinds of people they all have their own thoughts maybe they are right but my belief is my belief so i just follow that hmm. so in workplace uh, we get to see both the genders who works with hmm. us and uh, when we make these type of tough communications do we align equally for both the genders or we try to be very careful with one gender and uh, we are okay in <laughs> communicate with other gender uh, no i think it has to I, yeah. I think that is reverse discrimination. Then, if you're doing that, <laughs> to be fair, uh, yeah. when you're making a decision, it's the it's yeah. it's it's an equal business decision. It is equal business. Uh, yeah. In the end, if you start putting a cut, that uh, if I'm let's say I'm reducing my headcount uh, by ten percent, mm. men will go, men men will go down by twelve percent, but women will go down by eight percent. That doesn't work. Mm. Uh, because in in a way you are sending a very wrong signal. No, no, no. Decision is okay, but when you communicate the decision, mm. will your approach be? similar to when you communicate with one gender versus i would take out the gender i think you have to when you having a difficult conversation you have to look mm. at the audience okay. yeah so yeah. irrespective of the gender in that case you have to gauge how would the response be how what position the person's coming from gender is just one of the variables in my view yeah. you have to also to look at the age you have to look at experience background all that into mind when you are gauging the person you having a difficult conversation with gender is just one of the variables if you say it's only gender based i don't think that's the case mm. that's that's my opinion i don't know but somehow for me it looks like uh, when i start communicating with two genders uh, one side i'm free and okay to communicate with whatever i want but the other gender i'm very cautious and careful 
not to make mistakes. No, maybe because it's on your mind. Maybe it's, <laughs> it's, it, it plays. Maybe because right. you are just being over, I think, conscious about it, or it's playing on your mind. I don't. I I, I totally agree with him. I mean, right. it doesn't. I mean, when I am doing something, I'm not even thinking gender. It is not. You know. Actually, I. I, I can understand what you're saying. I'll tell you. I'll tell you the reason. I'll tell you the reason. All through the last 20, 25 years, we've been propagating and we have been proclaiming that we need better di uh, diversity and we need people not just of sex but of beliefs, yeah. of right. religions, of caste. Sure, sure, you know? sure. And you you'll always find that the, in most companies, I don't think we've reached all the way to bright, right? I think even today, uh, women, Muslims, uh, you know, people who Different are transgender, uh, mm. people, you know, they are a huge minority compared to what sure, they are. Sure. They are. And therefore, when a decision, I'm not talking about communication alone, mm. when a decision is being made, this is 100% considered. Mm. Anybody who says, no, I'm going to be equally fair to this, it doesn't happen. Only because our mind is conditioned to treat uh, this as a desired objective to increase the diversity, to increase the number of women, the number of, of, of different uh, 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 castes and different uh, sexual orientation, etc. We, we have been told this, that this is the desired objective, guys. And then suddenly you use a, a justice of fairness saying that performance evaluation, this, that doesn't cut. It always plays a part, in my view. I found myself doing that. I found, for example, there is a there is a guy who is a company secretary in a company, who's a diverse candidate, and he's hopeless. <laughs> I tell you, he's hopeless. And we put in so much effort to train him. He's getting better, and he's we have so much effort to train him because we don't want to lose him. Sure. He's the only. Uh, you know, a person of his kind in that uh, in the company at that level. So we don't want to lose him. So fairness, yes, uh, but diverse. This this thing definitely comes into play, and it comes into play because our minds are programmed over years now. Diversity important. Subconsciously, maybe to an extent, but I, I, I like the case that you're talking about. In my experience, I haven't experienced that because. Uh, uh, it's, it's fairness, it's performance which comes first and, and then uh, you would look at anything yeah, else. But in performance also, there is a 1920 rule <laughs> that if there is, if, if he is 19, chalne do. <laughs> because because no, we are not going to find a diverse candidate <laughs> who will meet that. No, no, 1920 is okay, but like the word you used, hopeless. That, in that is 10 and 20. Yeah, but, <laughs> so, 10 and 20, yeah. 1920, yes, because mm. you want to say, let's say, uh, give an advantage because we believe that they've, they've, a certain segment has been disadvantaged in the past mm. and it carries on. 1920 would work, but it hopeless to a... No, no, it's, uh, you know, maybe I, I, I use the wrong word uh, to exaggerate, uh, uh, to make the point. But I can tell you that it is after great difficulty that the company hired this guy after uh, about six, seven years ago. As a company secretary, they looked and looked and looked to get a person from, uh, you know, who was diverse. Everything, everybody else is very similar, uh, you know, to get. And now they find it very difficult to, uh, you know, get rid of him in their minds. Very difficult to get rid of him and get somebody else who will not be of that diversity. Because we have scrounged and looked and looked. and Therefore, those considerations do come into play. And should come into play because if we want something, we should be prepared to compromise and, and go oh, forward. But on the margins. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I, yeah. I accept that, that on the margins. Mm -hmm. I, we, you know, yeah. Like when we want, we want uh, people from lower caste to come up, what do we do? We create reservations. And they, it is probably the way to go because yeah. we haven't found any better way. Uh, yeah. and, and therefore, we live with that. So, uh, turning to the personal side of it, mm. uh, when I, when we converse or when we uh, make tough talks at workplace or with uh, someone at a professional level when we engage, it's kind of manageable and we also have a lot of protocols and through that we navigate. But when it comes at home, uh, <laughs> is it easy? For example, I have an adolescent uh, girl at home and uh, 
I don't uh, feel equally comfortable like what I do with my student in the classroom compared to that of what I do at home. I find it quite difficult when I make tough conversation with her primarily because I don't understand how that conversation will lead to in terms of her reactions and uh, responses. So when it comes for our own uh, people at home, are how do we manage this tougher conversation and difficult communication? Is it because your guards are down now? <laughs> at workplace, you keep your guards up and <laughs> of not saying the wrong thing. And here, because it's home, uh, you you are the so that emotional element comes in. Yeah. So I, I to be fair again, like I have a, I have two teenage daughters, mm. and uh, similar situation. I think with one of them in the beginning, I had a lot of run-ins mm -hmm. uh, because uh, I came from my standpoint, and this is the way it should be. <laughs> I'm saying so; it should be that. At work, I was being flexible because that's my work required. Mm -hmm. I think. After one of a big showdown, I, I went back into a introspection and I said, I said, if at work, I am being more open in terms of my mindset. At home, I need to do the same. And uh, I tried that. I think it's worked better. Uh, so, in my view, we, we believe we are two different personalities at work and home. But the fundamentals uh, don't change. And that's where I think we get caught in the middle. So, in my experience, I had to go back and say, if I can do it at work, where I'm giving a fair hearing to somebody... Mm -hmm of a similar age to my child, mm -hmm. why can't I do it at home? Correct. So in my case, I worked with my wife, right? So, <laughs> so that's even more difficult, right? So <laughs> We know who's the boss. <laughs> uh, you know, and she looks up. So, and, and my sister also works with me. Okay. So I, you know, so I run a business where my wife and my sister are involved. And it is not easy, <laughs> you know, because and when you come back home, there are decisions and, you know, and they, they both play a very important role. I mean, you know, and they both have a very, they are very strong people at work. So, I always, uh, and we, as much as we try not to bring our discussion uh, back on the table at home, you know, it does play. It, it's, and it's, uh, I never find it easy. I find it, it's a, it's a, so a lot of people ask, wow, and we've been working together for, uh, running this business for almost 20, 18 to 20 years. So, you know, so to arithmetic banjati hai, comfort. But sometimes uh, she takes a decisions, you know, or we, I do something in the factory or at my workplace. And, and, and you know, it, when, when we bring it home, sometimes it happens. And, and, and it is not easy. It's a, it's a very challenging situation that, uh, because it's emotions, you know, the, the, having said, there, there is a lot of emotions involved and, uh, so I, it's a, I find it very difficult to handle sometimes, and uh, so I, the only way I do it is uh, I just speak. I believe communication. You know, I just speak my heart out, and I just unload everything. So then I'm clear. Then I sleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's your problem. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I always say to my sister, I said, whatever the problem is, speak it out. You cannot sleep over it. Correct. You know, and, and and you do all that, you try, but it, it's not easy, I'm sure, because, you know, as he said, you, you download it to them and probably, uh, mm -hmm. you know, you make their night uh, difficult. But I I have followed that, yeah, <laughs> lighten yourself up and don't worry. Very and good, yeah, excellent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but that's, uh, but kids, uh, I, you know, I also got two boys and, uh, so I think that was very easy, but de dealing with boys with boys probably, I don't know, but never had a, <laughs> never, it was very easy, I think, uh, very easy to deal and, uh, and we have How a How old are they? So my older is uh, 28 years old and my younger so is So what happened years. when he came drunk, pissed drunk at home? It has happened. So, so I recall that there was a time when I was also like that once or twice. So it's okay. We, uh, you know, my wife, of course, you know, mother, uh, you know how it is. Get she to. wants to react right away. So I would calm her down. I said, no, no, listen, he's not in that frame of mind. So just relax. We'll talk tomorrow morning, you know. And then, you know, you do what you got to do, you know. And you you have a, a conversation, a tough talk. Nicely, ki, yeah, theek hai. we all have done our bit. But listen, we know we need to carry ourselves well, you know, there's, so again, uh, the every house like business have our do's and don'ts and you just got to make sure you talk about it. You know, so I remember one thing, one long time back when I, when I gave birth to my son, I was a very young father, I was 26 years old when uh, my son was born and I was like, I had come from America, I'm a first generation entrepreneur, 
sitting in Delhi, not knowing, you know, I come from Calcutta, I grew up and I married my girlfriend, my wife then. So I'm like, I'm sitting in a boy's talk in a, uh, uh, in one of the, uh, uh, you know, gym and a, a stream and I'm like, Venting. I'm anxious, you know, I'm saying, yeah, I'm a young father, I be here today and I hear so many <laughs> great things, how kids are being, you know, he looked at me, this 35 year old man, that time I was 26, 27, whatever, and he looked at me, said, Vikash, chill. I'll tell you one rule, follow that and don't worry too much about, you know, what he says, you know, the value starts from you and your family. Just keep doing the right thing. Your kids will observe. There's nothing, no rocket science yep. to it. And you know what? Very small advice, but it, I followed that from day one. How I'm talking at home, where I'm, you know, I would, just small things like, you know, I would see a lot of people have a tendency, you know, both the many will be phone pay. I would not do that because I'm saying, you know, my kids will think this is the way of life. You can get away. Walk the talk. Basically. Walk the talk. Absolutely. And he told me that. And I tell you how you talk, talking to your parents, your wife, your driver, everybody. And, and I think I followed that. Really? I just followed that right, wrong. And it made life easy. No, no. Yeah, mean. it worked. <laughs> so, no, tough no. tough also happens that way. And we Can talk we, business issues we have. You know, we talk in front of the boys. Let them hear. I had challenging day today. There was a tough time I'm going through in the business. Yeah. I let them hear. Yeah. And there's no, no hiding. Let them see, hear it. Maybe closing remarks on how to manage the tough talks at home or at the office level. I, I'll, I have a similar mm. uh, situation in the sense that my son and daughter, my son is a 38 year old, mm. my daughter is 40. They are partners in a business mm. and they started the business about 10 years ago. Right. And it's also a very tough business mm. because it's a restaurant. Yeah, so every they business have, say, yeah, oh. They have 18 yeah. restaurants all over the country. Wow. They've yeah. grown, wow. grown and I'm the only guy who's funded them. Wow. They don't have any debt. <laughs> they don't have any money. So, so by, by sheer, <laughs> uh, by sheer, no, 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 they have earned most of it. Uh. But by sheer, you know, um, a, a bit, they have to look. They have to draw me in draw the in. discussion. Mm -hmm. And both are chalk and cheese. Oh they boy. Are totally different individuals. Oh, this much is okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they fight a lot uh. and they will take individual decisions and they will draw me in and Arbitrator. Uh, not arbitrator. <laughs> what do you think? Mm -hmm. What is your opinion? But I follow a very simple golden mm -hmm. rule. Mm -hmm. I will tell them what my opinion is mm. and then I'll tell them Tune Karliya. Wow. Mm. We'll live with that. Live with it. Tune Karliya, I'll live with that. Do what you want mm. to do, we will live with that. Yeah. But if you're asking me what is the right thing to do, this. this is the in wow. my opinion, this is the That's right what thing I would to do. That done. is it. It closes the yeah. chapter. There's mm. uh, they they've, they've they've learned to live with each other for the last ten years. They've been partners and life goes on. And I, I so my my rule is, you know, I'm not gonna sleep over a problem. That's the fundamentals I've thought about, you know, and, and it is not something which has happened overnight. You, you know, I have, it ha I have evolved that, you know, and it is not easy. It, you know, there's a lot of relationships. Sometimes it's very emotionally. There's so many, you know, of we course. are human, right? So it's some, but I have realized only my crux is, yeah, spill your heart, talk it out. People, they know if you're genuine and you're speaking, and you, you know, your personality, you know, it, your family, everybody knows your character yeah, yeah. and personality. So it's easy. It's much easier when you're, and I think any relationship, it evolves. It takes time, whether it's any relationship, whether it's your No, kids. so th just don't let ego. Ah, but, oh, that's a and disease. And the only way ah. I found that ego mm. beach when you have that, you decide. Ah, yeah. but okay. God Karo bless you. Karo you live with it. Now, what can I do? I'm there with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally yeah, with you. Right. If you are, now you are asking mm. me, what can I do? You can't press yeah, the undo yeah. button. Yeah, no you can't. Control Z. So, okay. And I, I, you know, one of the things that I see which I bothers me till date is I see you, you said the very strong word ego. I mean, people don't talk to their brothers for years, yeah, years. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bar kuch and they yeah, are yeah, cut yeah. off. I don't get yeah, it. Yeah. I just don't get it. Yeah. I mean, but yeah, it's a, you it's know, a huge, yeah, huge. It's a, and both believe they are, they are, they are right, they are right mm, in their own right absolutely. and they are successful and yeah, yeah, people yeah. respect them. So I must uh, be. Uh, yeah, they are very something. strong. So now so, professor is going to have a very difficult conversation with us because <laughs> I think he wants to end the conversation. Uh, he's <laughs> saying no, no, we should end. We are ready to end. Yeah, we are ready to end.